All right, guys, welcome back to the series of Idle Adventure video. So I've just gone done finished testing with Derriere, and guys, she is good. Very, very good. Like, she has so much value hidden behind the scenes that you're not going to realize until you see and appreciate a little bit, right? Now, I tested most of her out in PvP because that's going to be her main use because what she does do is she prioritizes support heroes. So the good of that, using her in PvP, where she runs towards the backline, chases the support heroes, deals damage towards them, and disrupts everyone. That is where she gets most of value. Is she a better DPS than Escanor? No, but no one was expecting her to be a better DPS than Escanor. But what I will say is though is that both of these characters do complement each other very very well the meta right now in pvp is just filled with actual uh you know um gil frosts everyone is using gil frost because you have that guarantee shield every 10 seconds or whatever you want to use it right that gives you immunity towards damage for one time and you can see on screen now there's a lot of times and if you don't have aoe damage skills or characters that can reach the back line Escanor is going to constantly keep an ult in and just hitting the back line hitting king who has that shield which can be very very annoying but with Derriere on your team, because she's prioritizing the support characters, she's running to the backline, she's attacking King, she's attacking Gloxinia, she's attacking Gopher, she's attacking Gilfrost. They don't have their shield to where Eskona can follow up and actually do a lot of damage towards the backline and help her out, especially because she has got a lot of AoE damage. And if you haven't seen it, the actual ultimate does TP behind people to where Derriere throughout the whole PvP match is constantly running around. And I think the biggest thing is just disrupting the gameplay. Like, it's like the big, generally the biggest thing I've noticed a lot when I was using the, you know, Monspeed ultimate was going backwards against their team and only hitting Derriere and not my team. King's ultimate going backwards. I even versed another Derriere who got the attention of my Escanor and sent my Escanor ultimate towards my team, avoiding all their enemies on the other side. She has so much value that you're not really going to appreciate until you see it and use her in PvP. So yes, Derriere is very, very good. Honestly, I'll put her in the top tier. I might even put her in like SS because no one does what she does. If you looked at my tier list rankings when I rank characters, my big thing is like why I ranked Medio is so low is because he's just a normal red DPS and I can get that value from Kane. Kane sometimes even being better with his AoE skills and skills that reach the backline. Where Medio is just single target skill that has nothing special. Derriere, no one does what she does. She's a better run in the way, right? Where she TPs behind backline, she can get back out, she's constantly running around, targeting support characters, getting rid of the shields, dealing damage, and sometimes killing killing them as well. So yes, I do think Derriere is worth summoning if you want to spend the money or if you actually have the extra current she is the best red dps in the game right now hands down undoubtedly like no doubt about it uh but the question is do you need her i don't think so like i, I actually don't think so like i, I don't think you could probably still skip her if you really like don't care about her or you don't want it for pvp i will talk about the bosses in a second like towards normal content but i will say she is not squishy because she actually tanked a lot surprisingly but if you don't get her to a six star if you don't get her towards a high dupe level and uh even like eight star nine star even like you will feel that like it's she's unusable more so than any other character in this game because she's going to get targeted quite a lot so you got to be kind of tanky so unless you can get to a six star i wouldn't summon so if you don't have 160,000 crystals don't summon skip you know save your gems for someone not better but someone that's got a different role in the game you know, Merlin probably coming up next. And she is going to be probably one of the better supporters when it comes to, like, maybe shielding, whatever she decides to do in the game. And to be fair, she might even buff up Derriere. So Derriere is going to get a lot better too. Okay, so I mostly talked about my experience in PvP. I haven't yet used it in boss fights. I do one test right now, but I want to save that for a video, testing out all other boss fights because uh, I, I do think she deserves her own thing for PvP, right? Uh, I mean, this is not the team I'm going to use for her. Just, just what I was using. We'll put her here because why not? I mean, you got to remember, she's going to get a lot of uh, attack speed. So she might go kind of crazy. Uh, Barnes do a lot right now because obviously he's tight advantage. Uh, Escanor being tight disadvantage and Derriere slowly keeping it behind. But you got to remember, Escanor does have um, tight advantage. But Derriere does have the max buffs on. So she's getting a lot more coming up. And I think she's doing all right. I mean, that's pretty good damage. Uh, I, think, I think if I brought a better tank. I mean, she's going to be really good for DP like DPS when it comes to all the boss fights. We end up losing because uh, my, my barn died. I should probably bring a better tank. But honestly, if you look at a kit and you kind of ignore the prioritized support heroes, they are pretty good. Getting combo start to work on a skill one, very, very good. Getting the 5% extra attack and the 50% extra 
attack speed when she already has base 100 she gets 150 attack speed she has the fastest attack speed in the game and despite having the fast attack speed she has the, one of the higher multipliers like skill one and skill two ultima is a little bit lower into like eskino but eskino's type of advantage eskino's just better for that case in a way but yeah she's gonna be the better red dps character probably better than melee as well so yeah guys that's kind of all for my review i generally do think she's worth it but do you need her if you don't care about pp probably not if you want a red dps you definitely can but honestly i still feel like right now eskinor alone does the job me getting a red dps is going to help me out a little bit when it comes to like normal stages and when it comes to those boss fights i mean i'm not going to use in the gold dungeon farm i'm not going to use in the lap Star dungeon uh i'm too fair we'll use her in tr tower trials but to be fair eskinor does all the work anyway and when it comes to the night bosses I probably will use her when I can. But I still might even use, obviously, uh, Barn and Oso Eskinor because they um they just have so much value. But maybe she cooks this game mode. I don't know, for 40 minutes because the reset's not happened yet. So, yeah, that is um all from me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're now going to jump over towards the actual PvP where there are some pretty interesting gameplay. And I know this intro is long, but, you know, we have to review her. I think she's actually really, really good. Okay, so the first thing I want to try her out in, because it's kind of what she is made for a little bit, at least when you look at the skills, is in PvP. Because if you watched my gameplay yesterday, there's a lot of situations, if you build your team properly, to where she can move around the match. Like, literally, go from the top right, kill everyone up there, move down to the bottom while ignoring all the tanks. And uh, the team we have set up here is uh, this right here. Well, we're going to put in the back, because uh, her ultimate does TP, by the way. I don't know, because I haven't seen it in play just yet. If she fully TPs across the map or she does a, a single target skill and the TPs behind them. Uh, so I'm going to wait and uh, put in the back a little bit. Which is the main use, right? The main thing I think you want from Dario so far is to have her in the back. So when everyone walks forward, they all start targeting your actual you know, your tank characters. And she can just slip past while avoiding the contact, essentially, right? Uh, so this is the ultimate order. It's... Okay, you don't want to put her first because if she just jumps behind everyone before they can even target your actual tanks, it's not going to be worth it. Plus, I guess you want to let that actual, you know, uh, combo star build up a little bit. So, let's see if this team could work. She is uh, obviously six star for me and she has got max potentials. I will show you a lot in case you haven't seen it. I can't take it to a seven star, which I'll do soon. But yeah, my attack row is she doesn't crit. Maybe if you lean a bit more on the crit in, maybe get another carrot support a little bit. Uh, maybe if I was to use monster speed in the team, maybe I would. But yeah, let's uh, jump in this team right here um he might set up so we uh we'll see we'll try this one let's let's just run against it okay so let's see what he run to so yeah there he's gonna like, slide past everyone and it's hard to see her right because you're going for the support right now you can't really see it but she is targeting the actual alpha Arthur's now who even died okay i should probably put the thing on um i bro i can't even see her in the mess you know i think she's in the backline fighting bro right yeah she's in the fact backline fighting uh, she's doing alright, you know. I mean, she's almost dead. I mean, obviously, a little bit annoying that Gilfrost is targeting her. Okay. I mean, that seemed pretty good. I mean, she, I think she, ended up, did she, die? she didn't even die. Wow, okay. Okay, I mean, it's going to be hard to look at that in a, a cluster, right? It's um very hard to follow along, but I'm hoping to find games later on where we're, we're able to split the match up. When everyone's all together, it's a bit of a cluster, right? I mean, to be honest with you lot... 400k damage actually survived actually which is kind of crazy it that didn't seem too bad i mean granted we find people that have like better escorts maybe she might get ripped apart and i guess the big thing i want to stress throughout this video is she's not better than escanor i mean i don't think anyone's expecting them to be better than escanor it's just another really good red dps that you can use and i think to be fair she would be better than melee because melee Otis right now the lost vein one would um sit in the front line and just get targeted by escanor where at least they're already can tp behind get away from the fight go towards the support characters let's go into one i guess similar towards our cc a little bit let's see what the actual order is i want to find one like that will split up I think maybe this. We'll try this one. Uh, no Eskinor, though. We'll try that one afterwards, I think. Okay, let's try this one first. This guy's got more G uh, CP than me. Let's see if Eskinor or Derek can cook. And remember, you got support, right? Because you want to obviously have... Um... Okay, where is she? She's in the corner fighting King now. I think. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's in the back line. Oh, she's fighting Monsfeet. <laughs> oh, she got binded. Oh, by the way, did you see that? We actually wasted the Monsfeet all onto her. It went onto Derriere. And she's gone TPing away again. I mean, she's staying alive, though. I, they're not dying, though. That's the annoying thing. Okay, is, is she getting healed? 
I mean, she's stalling the king and Vivian, though. You seen this? That's kind of crazy. Uh, this team's just too tanky, though, I think. He's actually just... I think he's outwilled me a little bit. Now we're winning, though. Oh, you know what? I mean, she didn't take out King or Vivian because I think the, the heals and also the shield from uh, uh, Gilfrost was uh, quite annoying. But that's good damage. And to be fair, like I said, she stole so hard on Monspy. I think she killed Monspy, actually. But she stole so hard on Monspy and also King and Vivian to where my other characters going to do what they want. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Once again, you're not going to get that from any other character, right? But as you can see, she kind of is like almost like a glass cannon in a way where she's going to run in and take a lot of damage. So you really want to get her up. I see even more than Escanor. But is it worth investing more to her than Escanor? Probably not. You're better off investing to Escanor. But okay, this game I actually want to go against because this is this one. Uh, the guy's got more GP than me, so a lot better stats. Has he got Escanor? Okay, so we're going to run straight past here. We're going to target the Arthur. Uh, but he, his healing from the Glocks might be too much. Okay, now she's in the back line. Oh, she's targeting both of them. Okay, she's going to stall with these two. Uh, okay, annoyingly, Gilfro Gilfrost uh, targeted my um, Derriere. She's getting bullied. Oh, she's taking away everyone. I think she's targeting. Yeah, she kind of separated Arthur, so now Gilfrost is doing that. This is such a weird thing. This is something... Yeah, boom, she TP killed um, Arthur. Now she's going for the Gluxenia. This is sick. She's actually kind of insane. She's going for Gluxinia, right? Yeah, she killed Gluxinia. Oh, now she's on the... Gi Bro. She's now on the... The... Gil the um, what's it? The... The Gil for us. And she's kind of just taken away the... Um, Daka. I can't remember his name. And then boom. My Eskinor just pops him and kills King. I mean, she died there. Once again, I unfortunately didn't put my... Um, finger, but like... She's doing the right damage. And then now there's like no one left. Where I'm just going to kill everyone with my Eskinor. Huh. I mean, that is useful. That is useful. Who's that tank? Dogeno's not dying, bro. Like, he's actually not dying. I might lose this. Am I going to lose this? Surely not. It's just, um... Yeah, that, uh, Gale Frost, that shield is too powerful, man. Lord knows if we get a Merlin. And she has that. Okay, we can skip because we kind of won that. But, um, yeah. Wow, I think the time ran out, actually. So he still has HP. We just had more. And by the way, I'm not bringing King because, uh, I want to bring more DPS. I might even take Bar now, actually. But I kind of want to give that energy restoration. And like I had more GP to me as well. Um, we can try this team, but I'm a little bit worried about it because um, uh, no Eskinor. We'll try it. What's, what, what's the GP? It's 130 G, right? I mean, already after playing her for two games, she definitely has a use. Like we can't ignore that. Like she's got use in the game. However, in this situation though, where is she? Oh, she's in the back line. Oh my god, it's lagging, bro. Why is it lagging? Okay, so she's she's taken away Monster Speed. She's taken away King. She's taking away Gilfrost. So, look, King wasted the all only on Derriere. And now she's back in my team. Um, does Glock's in here heal? I actually don't even know. Uh, but she does the right damage. And look, you can see once again, she's kind of just... She's the only one with Hellblaze on. She died, unfortunately, obviously. But she kind of done a job a little bit. I, I think people are going to underestimate that. And then we won as well. I mean, well, I think the big thing to take away is obviously Eskinor's doing all the work. But um, so far, she's kind of acting as a distraction where you can negate some of the abilities like King's ability. Where to be fair, he still gets it off, but he's he's reducing that damage not on your whole team, uh, only on himself. You know, Mon Speed, which is, um, you know, four star. But even if that was like a high dupe Mon Speed, where they invest a lot into him. Having his whole, whole only on Derry and not my whole team is kind of massive. Especially because they kind of always use that after or before King and Eskino. So that means like Eskino may not crit, so you're rooting the damage. Like, I'm not gonna lie. She's gonna be a staple on my team from now on. Like, I, I, 100%. Um, I just don't know if I should take off. I just don't know if I should take off my barn. Okay, this, um, this one might be fun. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna put. We'll change the team. Can we know Bond at the top? Let's put let's put at the bottom here. So if anything, yeah, you kinda wanna go into your games looking at where characters are positioned and then sort things around. Because if my dairy was at the top, then um she might run into a bomb. We don't want that. So let's let's, let's challenge this person. Alright, so there she goes. She runs to the bomb. She got banned, unfortunately, but she's gonna run straight towards King. No, she's going for Glocks in here. Okay, nice. Now she's on Gopher. Did quite a lot of damage to Glocks as well. Along with my Eskin, of course. Uh, but just taking all the attention away. Look, King's all wasted. Onto uh, only Dario, not my whole team. She just she's comboing all three of them, bro. <laughs> she's on go for now though. Is she gonna die? She's doing the most damage. Kill the king. Ah. Oh! Okay. 
Oh, she just killed. Oh my god, she killed. She just killed the Glocks and she just killed Gopher. And now King is back on my uh, Escanor. But uh, yeah, we're kind of still on the top up here. King guarded that, which is a little annoying. So what's going I wish the area was alive there. Uh, I think we ended up winning this one. Because, yeah, I mean, Barn's not doing anything at the top. It's just trying to get through that king now as well. Because that, that um, Geralt Frost is giving that shield. It's, like, so powerful. And it's just negating all my Eskinor ultimates. Uh, but finally, Dian is dead in a few seconds. You're seeing right now, my Eskinor is just getting his ult negated by, um, you know, Geralt Frost's shield. Uh, but, you know, Derry just da dealing one bit of damage. Because, remember, he only nullifies one damage. So, as long as Derry hits the person once, Eskinor can do some big combos. And I think that's one thing that was actually massive in this game. Okay, we got a Do we do we do we verse one? Just see how she does against my team. I think we do actually. Okay, let's let's go against this team. It's Gara. Is it the YouTuber Gara? I don't know. Alright, let's see. I think I've lost against him before actually. So let's see if I win now. Okay, so both Darius is ignore each other. She's running straight for my Gluxinia and my Gopher, actually. Uh, I think we're getting cooked actually. I think she's cooking me. And yeah, the, the whole, all the ranged characters are targeting me as well. It's kind of annoying. Uh, does Gluxony heal my, um, my Derriere? I actually don't even know. But is she the character if you invest into? You're going to get a lot of value out of it. I think it's a pretty close match, though, boys. Eskinos turning around. Oh, no. Eskinos turning around and just hit Derriere. Oh, my gosh. The golf is won. Oh, no. We just survived. Who's winning? Did we lose? I think we just lost. That's actually so annoying. Yeah, if I if my Derry was a bit more duped out, we might have killed both Gopher and um, Glocks. But I uh, I think if anything, it shows the power a little bit because I think if any like I think I saw the Derry got the attention of Escanor and sent the Escanor my way rather than his way, and I think we do lose this unfortunately. I think he definitely won because of Derry. Hundred percent. She's literally running across the whole field just just getting everyone's attention, and she's quite tanky as well, which is why you want to get towards high deep level at least six star. Okay, we'll try this team here. This is Lin, who's um, level 945, so he's obviously past the, the level cap. This guy's been playing. 5, 1.5G, well, 1 1.2. He's, he's got the dupes on all my characters. Like, everything's just a higher dupe level. Let's see if we can come close. Like, that's, that's a big thing, right? If we can even get close because of Derriere, we'll see. But we should lose this based off our, our stats, right? So Derriere, going to run straight forward and start attacking these lot. Uh, she's taking some damage. I think she might be getting attacked by Galan, unfortunately. Okay. Big damage on all three of those characters, by the way. Um, I don't even know what's going on. It's too laggy, bro. I think I saw King's all going that way. Ah, she's just... Oh, she just died. Oh, no, she just killed. Oh, we cooked him. Oh, we cooked him. Yeah, our position was so much better. Yeah, it's Derriere just doing damage with the backline to where my Eskinaut ult can reach the backline. That's the biggest thing I've noticed. And she's still alive. <laughs> she's still alive. <laughs> Yo, that is insane. We beat him.